So let's kick it off with some headlines. Jeremy, turn to this camera. Bam. <laughs> well, you control this show. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, today is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. That's right, folks. Here's the message that the city's put out. Today is National Law Enforcement Day Appreciation Day. Yeah. And thank you to those who keep us safe here in Fitchburg and throughout the country. Thank you, Fitchburg, Wisconsin Police Department staff. And hey, I thought, why don't I show you some photos? And slide one. <laughs> here we go. You know, I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. You know, the police department uh, puts in a lot of work day in and day out. A lot of it goes unnoticed. And uh, and they also are part of uh, different community events, uh, which I have shown here and in the next uh, graphic as well. Uh, uh, we're, we're very fortunate with the police department we have here. And, uh, you know, they have done uh, and will continue to do great work here. And uh, you know, we're lucky enough to have Chad Brecklin, the chief of uh, police, come up here and tell us what's going on down there as well uh, once a month here on the show. But thank you, 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 everybody. And, uh, of course, across uh, the U.S. for uh, law enforcement, thank you for keeping us safe. All right, turn your attention. I want to remind you again that the Madison College presentation a little wine and cheese uh, collaboration reception to follow is happening tomorrow, 4 o'clock p.m. at B. TC, that's Pro Mega, just down the street from us, 5445 East Show Parkway. We told you the the president of Madison College, he's coming down, Dr. Jack Daniels. He'll be there with his team and uh, presenting uh, some great information about the new South Campus, which is slated to open in fall of 2019. Following that, there'll be a reception uh, with local chambers. You do need RSVP to this event. We shared the link yesterday. I will share it again today through our social media page. Yeah, like us on Facebook. That's where you can find uh, uh, that link. All right, from the green newsletter that just came out uh, this past month, uh, it's uh, a good one here. It's save the pipes, don't flush the wipes. That's right. <laughs> wipes may, may be labeled flushable, but they don't degrade in the system. Yeah, flushing them is like flushing... Uh, a handkerchief or other may uh, or other items that could be made from cloth. Our sewer system and treatment plants were not designated to handle wipes. Well, design designated, whatever. It just doesn't gonna work, folks. They gum up the system, clog the pipes and pumps, and it costs the taxpayer and residents additional money in maintenance and costs. No way, darn it. Many homeowners have also experienced plumbing problems due to the wipes being flushed. So they may be an expensive maintenance cost at, at your home as well. So I'll tell you what, just don't do it. Guess you need to toss those in the wastebasket, right? And uh, I'll share you the link with this. They have a link to a video showing uh, just the, the, the disaster that these uh, wipes can cause. All right, also uh, coming out of the newsletter was uh, save the date, water in two parts. Yeah, the Wabisa Wetlands and Salt Reduction. This is Thursday, February 7th at 6 o'clock p.m. at our Fitchburg Public Library. That's a lovely place to have a meeting, isn't it? Pizza refreshments starting at 545. And again, it's going to be great talks. And guess what? We're lined up to cover this event. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be there. And so you'll be able to watch it if you can't make it. But till then, we're just going to keep telling you, hey, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's here. No, you missed it. <laughs> but it will be on demand, and uh, yeah, you can watch it here. Good stuff. All right, Wisconsin has seen a surge in meth and amphetamine use. Not a shocker here, but uh, great information here to be uh, shared uh, from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Did you know in recent years, Wisconsin has seen a surge in meth and amphetamine use up 462% from 2010 to 2017? And as you can see on here, that's uh, showing you the uh, age. Uh, it looks like 28 or older. 12? Well, let's see here. Well, I'm looking at that red bar there, the 28 or older. <laughs> what, you're hearing, what you're not hearing is you're hearing <laughs> Scott telling me, uh, hey, look at the bottom, dude. Uh, yeah, like the fine print. Read the fine print. Um, but uh, here, the, uh, the effective uh, effects and signs of methamphetamine use uh, short term you can have a uh, depressed appetite, faster breathing, increased blood pressure, a few other ones there. Long-term, anxiety, confusion, extreme weight loss, hallucinations, 
itchiness and uh, violent behaviors, sleeping problems, and more. Uh, so there's a lot of resources out there that the Wisconsin uh, Department of Health Services has out there available for you. Uh, but uh, as we mentioned, when you talk about a crisis, there's a crisis for you right there. And uh, yeah, wanted to share the resources there. Uh, it was a great information to share out there. And it's about uh, awareness and uh, what can we do to help solve the problem. I also want to talk to you about when is the best time to salt? Talk about a transition there. <laughs> Oh, take it slow. Even salt needs more time. We've kind of been in this year where it's been warm, cold, warm, cold, rain, snow, yada, yada, yada. And uh, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation wants you to think about this. Wisconsin DOT uses Advanced Road Weather Information System uh, to track weather and pavement conditions. The system's called the WRWIS. It has 68 sites across the state, including weather sensors and sensors uh, embedded in the roadways. This data helps determine when to mobilize staff, time for de-icing and anti-icing agent applications. And they uh, can choose the best agent based on that, but here it is. Salt more effective as temperatures approach freezing. Okay, Salt takes uh, longer to melt ice and uh, roads uh, refreeze faster as temps drop. So they throw the salt on and then it gets colder. <sighs> You make it slippery. Salt will take longer to activate melting. Uh, always drive with caution. It looks like when it's at zero. So, yeah, kind of some inf interesting information. But uh, a lot of planning goes into uh, uh, our uh, anti, uh, what do you want to say, anti-freezing <laughs> agents and everything else in between and de-icing. It's kind of a neat, uh, neat process. And remember, you don't have to throw down a ton of salt to make a difference. You can just shovel it off. Just saying. Just saying. Except for roadways. All right, anyway.